Okay, so in this video, basically a quick tip, a quick hack on how to give new life to an old shoebox. Well, this one isn't as old, but you'll see what I mean. All right, let's get started. So for this quick tip hack that I have, um, a little backstory. So basically what happened was um, sometime last year, uh, my boys had a couple events and one had a project which required me to um, kind of use uh, some shoe boxes. Uh, one event that they do have is in February for Valentine's Day, they do get to bring a shoe box. Um, they can decorate it. And then they bring it to class, get their candy, some cards, and then obviously they get to bring their stuff back and their box back. But one of the issues I initially had was having to cover, you know, the outside of the box, now the logo, um, any design, uh, kind of information, uh, things like that, right? So I kind of struggled with that, and I think I was halfway through. Um, covering it then I figured something out and it actually helped in another project which my youngest son did and he needed a shoebox an old shoebox obviously for a diorama project and this little quick tip this hack that I kind of found out actually helped out a lot and actually saved me some headache so simply put um, so if you take some of these new shoe boxes, newer shoe boxes, and you do open them up, so on the outside you have color, logo, information, right here, so information, logo. And if you open it up inside, you can see it's pretty plain. And if you do uh, a little bit of uh, work, you can actually take this apart, flatten it out, and this is where I kind of geeked out um, a little bit of, uh, I'm actually impressed with a little bit of the design. Um, you can actually just flip your box inside out, and now your logo and all the colors, information is gonna be the inside, and this blank canvas is on the outside. So you can now use it for yourself, um, decorate yourself and yeah pretty much give new life to the box for something you want to use at home for school projects um, and basically anything else you can think of, of having a new box uh, for storage so I'm just kind of gonna go briefly on disassembling this kind of disassembling it but taking it apart flattening it out and really easy process for you guys to follow so let's just go through that Okay, so I'm basically going to show you how to, for this particular box design, kind of show you how to open it up, flatten it, and then we will reverse the folds and turn it inside out. So for this one, which is pretty cool, for this Adidas box, got these little tabs on this corner here. And you can see this notch, you just kind of flip this down here, and then when you push it out, here you go, it starts to pop out. So they have it in all four corners and do that process on all of them. So one side, do the other side. All right, there you go. Those flaps are out. Now, time to lift. Pretty simple. For these tabs, just take it easy. They can rip rip off, but again, just take your time with it and see what you can do. There's kind of a, a notch here and a little tab. I'm gonna have to slowly pull it out here. There you go. Do the same thing on the other side. Uh, 
that's a little tough. All right, here you go. Try not to destroy the tabs. Um, obviously, you want to keep them. It does help to keep to keep the box together. But let's just open up the folds, and there you go. Now, I kind of geeked out on this because uh, in my job, I do use a lot of what we call sheet metal work, and there were some designs that you're basically you kind of use a mirror version of it, and when I looked at the box and I finally realized you can unfold it and basically bend it reverse you get this nice clean you know it's very plain uh, no colors and you can decorate yourself so aside from the sticker you now have a flat piece and we're just going to reverse the folds and yeah now now we will get to see our box inside out and clean slate for decorating and uh, whatever else you feel like you want to use the box for. So first we're going to reverse fold the top part. First the folds. Again, you kind of have to remember what you did prior as you're unfolding everything. For this particular one, I've done a few. So I kind of understand what to do. Some others are either easier or a lot harder. So reverse the folds and again now get that tab in there. Kind of locks it in place. All right, here we go. The lid part is pretty much done. Now we will reverse fold the main body of it. So I like to kind of get the folds nice and loose and get it formed first. Again, taking note of the tabs, don't try to destroy them. Okay, grab this part. All right, so remembering what we did last time, going to, all right, you got a quick notch here. We can see that, just get that notch all together. Do the same on the other side. There you go. So now, again, you have your tabs here and it's, again, it's a pretty cool design. Just have to reverse fold that, reverse fold that tab there. Do the same on the other side. Can get that there. Let's reverse. And then just slide it in the main tab area slot. It's not as easy, but Gotta get, <laughs> gotta get it through that area. Don't want to rip it. It's I'm trying to show you in camera, but I'm getting the angle all wrong here. All right, there you go. So we got that one. Let me get this other one. So, I'll show you guys. Just kind of push that through. All right. Now, we're going to get that, that tab back. All right. And there you go. One quick side, and now let's, now let's do the other. Get this tab all set up. Same thing here. Now, fit it through. 
takes a little work, but once you get it, it's really cool to have them. Again, nice, not really a fresh box, but one you can decorate and use for other things around the house. Okay, so it looks like got them lined up. Push it through. And there you go. So now, your design, your outer design is inside out. Close it up. There you go. So there you go. You now have or gave a little bit of new life to some of your old shoe boxes. And that one box by Adidas isn't the only one that you can do this to. Um, there are several others that you can. Uh, for instance, this one by Vans initially. So this one was a little bit easier to get to reverse fold. And this other one, put this away. This other one's also by Adidas, but it's another they're Adidas Neo, nice and green inside. But again, a lot easier to reverse fold or turn the box inside out versus you know getting some paper to cover the outside, cover the design. I mean, this is pretty much a blank slate. You can paint it, use pens, color it, or simply mark it up for whatever you want to use it for. So gotta put that away. Uh, the reason why I brought this up is, again, the reason why I brought this up is I'm currently cleaning things out. I'm kind of a, a little bit of a pack rat, but I have a few kind of tips or hacks that I like to uh, do to preserve some of those memories and but at the same time get rid of things that I do not need at home. Um, just things kind of pile up, right? Anyway, so one of the boxes I did, another bo Adidas box, um, I just kind of like to keep some, yeah, some balloons for my kids' birthdays. And I'm going to be adding some birthday cards mainly from their first and second birthdays. And uh, yeah, maybe some quick little cards and trinkets or anything really, just small memorabilia uh, on certain milestone birthdays or events. But anyway, that's my quick little tip. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what else you're gonna use your box for. If you do have shoe boxes that you can reverse fold. If you don't, I apologize. There are some you can do this to. Again, they all vary in different designs. Um, I am not sure about every shoe box out there. But anyway, if you do come across a shoe box you can reverse fold, yeah, keep it. You never know, you may use it for something else, right? But that's basically it for this, I don't know, uh, tutorial video, quick hack video, but Anyway, we will talk to you guys next time.